Before the introduction of Baby Yoda would be met with unanimous fanfare, a first for the franchise with many past attempts at new characters resulting in outrage by fans. Jar Jar Binks, anyone? The reason why I almost ended my life on the Brooklyn Bridge was because 20 years ago, I played Jar Jar Binks in Star Wars. Yikes, was that too much too soon? Before Baby Yoda would dominate meme culture and would get a shout out from the meme god himself, PewDiePie. When you look at yourself in the monitor at the store. <laughs> I do that. I still do that and I'm 30. <laughs> Before Baby Yoda would inspire countless memes and find himself taking a ride in Elon Musk's cyber truck and uttering his first words, okay, boomer. Well, the other way around. Boomer, okay. It's official, Baby Yoda has dominated the internet and the fine folks at Disney, well, they're pissed because they didn't move fast enough on making toys for the Christmas holidays. Not to fret, you can head on over to Amazon or Etsy and buy some of these homemade one-of-a-kind pieces. There's this, there's this. What the hell is that? My God. He's a little bit too green. It's weird because in person, he doesn't look as green as he does in photos or in video. When in doubt, Make it yourself. <laughs> Actually, that last one, it wasn't too bad. Now, I feel like I might be a little late to the party with this one, but with Baby Yoda still pulling in 125 million search results at the time of this recording, well, I thought, what the hell? I'm actually a closet Star Wars nerd, truth be told. What's going on, guys? It's boy Michael McCredden documenting the rise in popularity of the character and the meme, Baby Yoda, here for you, of course, and before they're famous. Now, last week, we dropped a similar video on Cybertruck, and it actually did pretty good. Now we got a ton more videos coming for you guys before the end of the year. Actually, who am I kidding? I'll be doing this come January and February. As always, be sure to subscribe, turn on the post notifications. All right, I'll see you after the intro. Hey, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Boom! Baby Yoda first came to the world's attention via a galaxy far, far away in The Mandalorian, available on Disney+, Plus, which was first released on November 12, 2019. Okay, maybe the galaxy wasn't that far away. That actually looked like Earth. Maybe it was Naboo. Now following the release of the initial episode, conversations began on Twitter with people using the hashtag Baby Yoda. From there, the press, they began to produce news coverage. And I'm talking about Vulture, Collider, Buzzfeed, Newsweek, The Ringer, and more. Even E-Bombs World, they got to work gathering newly emerging memes. I didn't know E-Bombs World was still a thing. Now there are countless memes, but let's go through some of the early faves. Jedi I am. Bottle I need. Baby Yoda cannon, baby Yoda cannon, baby Yoda cannon. I haven't known baby Yoda for long, but if anything happens, I will throw hands. He was also seen hanging out with the Pope and Pikachu. And finally, 50 years old I am. Amazing do I look. So Star Wars canon you say? Well, technically there isn't a whole lot about Yoda's species out there with George Lucas actually forbidding anyone from delving into the character's past. But the diehard Star Wars fans, well, they wanted answers and they wanted them immediately. I want to ask you a bunch of questions. And I want to have them answered immediately. Now people started pointing fingers at a female Jedi master known as Yaddle. She appeared in 1999's episode one, The Phantom Menace. Afraid, are you? No, sir. I actually like The Phantom Menace, epic fight scene at the end, amazing music. What's not to like besides Jar Jar? More? More did you say? Now one theory is that baby Yoda, he is the son of Yoda and Yaddle, who, uh, well, the girl just ain't easy on the eyes. Yikes. Now details on Yaddle, they're pretty slim. She was 500 years old at the time of her appearance in The Phantom Menace. Now Yoda, he was around 830 years old during episode one and 900 years old at the time of this passing. When 900 years old you reach, look as good you are not. Hmm? So if Yoda is indeed the father, well good for him for getting it on in the senior citizen years. Although uh, in this scene, well he should have at least known that he may have had a kid. There is another Stop. Now Yaddle, she didn't appear in any of the other prequels or sequels and is said to have been killed between the first and second episodes while defending Anakin and Obi-Wan. 
Now, a few Star Wars experts, they've actually done the math, and it's possible that Yaddle and Yoda, they got it on and are the parents to the 50-year-old baby Yoda. So that's one theory. Now, other theories include, much like Anakin Skywalker, will baby Yoda, which has now been named Yiddle, well, he's the product of a virgin birth by way of midichlorian manipulation. That makes him, well, one with the universe. The force is strong with him. In fact, he basically is the force. And if that theory's correct, well, that means Anakin Skywalker, he ain't the only one. Now we're also talking about a universe that underwent the Clone Wars, so there's a slight chance that Baby Yoda is a clone of the original. Now you know. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about the creation of Baby Yoda. Now Disney, Star Wars, and Marvel, they've all seen massive success with characters taking on baby identities. Baby Groot, he quickly became a fan favorite, and in the Star Wars animated series, we were introduced to Rada the Hutt. She's the daughter of the late and great Jabba. Now, hardcore fans, they seem to like more of what they love and are resistant to new characters. So it makes a whole lot of sense for the idea of a baby Yoda to be cooked up. Executive producer of The Mandalorian, Jon Favreau, he didn't want the toy to be produced prior to the release of the series to keep it a surprise, but he did reveal some concept art following the character's virality, which melted a few 100,000 hearts. Now, Star Wars Episode 1 and 3 were heavily produced via CGI. So much so that people were actually missing the authenticity that the original films delivered to their audience. Now with this in mind, the more recent Star Wars films, they've been a great mix of CGI with proper set pieces and a return to puppetry. Baby Yoda is actually the work of a team of puppeteers or technicians. Now just to be safe, they filmed the scenes both with the puppet and as a blank, just in case they needed to use the CGI. But in the end, John Favreau, well, he told The Hollywood Reporter, he's mostly a puppet. When it's CG, we try to make him obey the same physical laws that he would if he were a puppet. Now, the puppet is so lifelike that people began interacting with it on set as if it were alive. Now, Disney, they knew they had hit a home run with the lovable character. And although they went to work making toys and merch for other characters in The Mandalorian, well, they kept Baby Yoda a secret. Now, this was, again, Jon Favreau's plan. He told The Hollywood Reporter, By holding back on that one product, we knew that we may have had the disadvantage of not having toys available day and day. But what we got in exchange was an excitement surrounding the character, because everybody felt like they discovered him together. That emulated more what my experience growing up was like. Now, another interesting thing is their foresight into the success of meme culture. Ugh. Now, it's impossible to look at that shot from episode four of him sipping broth from an oversized mug and not immediately think of Kermit sipping some tea. Then memes be everywhere, and they have for a very long time. Now, there was also the moment where Baby Yoda, he clicks on some button to turn on the radio, and that's been reproduced countless times. There's creators adding their own spin. I've heard Britney Spears. I've heard anime, Christmas song. Well, the renditions, they go on and on. Now, at the end of the day, there's no stopping the fanfare surrounding Baby Yoda, and if he lives even half as long as Yaddle, well, this guy could be the new Jedi hero for a couple hundred years. So look forward to that. I'm actually really excited to see where they're going with Star Wars. I mean, uh, like, my nieces and nephews, they're gonna get their own variation. And, like, with aliens being the coolest thing under the sun for your imagination, it's just a very exciting time. And I'm happy they're, like, uh, they're bringing these characters back in baby form, because, uh, if they bring back someone new like Jar Jar Binks, everyone's just gonna lose their sh**. You know what I mean? Mora? Mora did you speak? Alright guys, I'm wrapping up this video. Let me know what you think about Baby Yoda. What do you think of The Mandalorian? Now, I haven't been able to get my hands on Disney+. Plus. I can't get it on my smart TV for whatever reason. But when I do get it, I'm gonna be crushing a lot of it. But I do have a lot of videos to produce for you guys because it's the end of the year. We got Top 5s, we got Before They're Famous, we got Where Are They Now, we got The Rich Life. And uh, the view's been going up like crazy on this channel. So thank you guys very much. An early Christmas for me. All right, that's enough for me. I'll see you guys in another video. Boom!